You got one more step, don't forget. We're gonna let that go until it clears up. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do the backwash and rinse on the carbon filter for our AquaSure whole house water filter and uh, water softener system. In the last video, I showed you guys step-by-step -step to how to do a do-it-yourself installation. First time I had done it myself, came out really good and clean and was much easier than I thought it would be. And uh, today what we're gonna do is backwash the carbon filter and get all the sediments out. Now, depending on how much water usage you have, you might wanna backwash once a week, once every week and a half, maybe two weeks. Uh, for us, we've got two kids, my wife and I, and we use plenty of water, so I'm, I'm putting it on the calendar for about once every 10 days. First thing you wanna do is set your bypass valve so that you're not pushing any of the dirt into your water softener. So this is the carbon filter. This is the water softener and the control unit and valve for the water softener. And these are two valves for your bypass. So I'm gonna set this one to bypass. And I'm gonna set this one to bypass as well. Next thing you wanna do is read the labels for your rinse lever and the label all the way on this side says filter that's what it's on right now and that's where it should be for normal usage label in the middle says fast rinse and then you've got backwash all the way on the left now once your two levers here are on bypass then we're going to start here if you watch the installation video on my setup for the exit from uh, the carbon filter where the water goes out when you do a uh, backwash or a fast rinse cycle, I use the clear hose. And uh, that's gonna allow me to see into the hose as the backwash happens so I know when the water clears up. That hose goes down to our drain right there. So first thing we wanna do, we wanna move this lever over two clicks. So past fast rinse and then over to backwash. And while we do that, we're gonna watch the fluid coming out. That's fast rinse, and that's backwash. So our fluid's pretty clear. I don't know if you can see that well in the video, but not any dirt. Now you've got a uh, dark color to the fluid coming out. We're gonna let that go until it clears up. And then once that clears up, you can see it's starting to get clear. Once that clears up, we'll leave it in backwash for another three minutes. So we'll let it go. I don't know if you can tell in the video, it's kind of grayish now. It's not very dark like it was right at first. And uh, I'm gonna let it go till that clears up real good. And obviously you can tell here, there's no way to know what color that water is if you had a black drain hose. So make sure to use a clear hose. It'll make your life easier instead of trying to look at the drain and the color of the water in the drain. Starting to clear up, almost there. It has a little bit of a gray hint to it. I'm gonna let it go for another 30, 40 seconds, and uh, then I'll start the timer for three minutes. You wanna let it backwash for three minutes after it has cleared up all the way. All right, let's take a look. Nice and clear. So now that my water is clear coming out of the drain hose, I'm gonna leave it in backwash for about another three minutes, and then we'll move to the next step after that. We'll be right back. Now it's been about three minutes. Check to make sure our water is still clear coming out of the drain hose. Looks like we're all good. So at this point, our backwash cycle is complete, and I'm gonna move the lever over one tick to the fast rinse setting. So, remember, you had backwash on the left, then fast rinse in the middle, and then filter on the right. So I'm gonna move it from here over to fast rinse until you hear the click. Let's see. All right, nice firm click. Now we're gonna leave it in fast rinse for about five minutes. Now I'm not an expert in this stuff but from what I read and the instructions going over it a few times, the fast rinse cycle uh, 
does some sort of a rinse where it helps all the carbon and filtering media inside the cylinder settle back to where it needs to be. I'm not sure exactly what that means or what the difference is between that and backwash, but it's a critical step in getting your filter cleaned and backwashed and ready for use again. So I'm gonna trust the process. We're gonna give it five minutes in fast rinse. And then after that, we'll move it over to the filter setting. It's been about five minutes. We'll check the uh, hose, make sure everything's good and clear. And we should be good to move this back over to the filter setting. And the filter setting is the one, there we go, on the far right. So we'll turn this lever to the left, and that'll put the point of it over to the filter logo right there and you'll hear a nice firm click and that should be it. There it is. Once that's done, you got one more step, don't forget. Now the very last step, do you remember? Bypass. So we're gonna turn this bypass lever to the left until it locks into place. Turn this one to the left until it locks into place. And now we're good to go. That's it. Really easy process. If you do have a whole house water filtration system with the carbon filter, make sure you're doing this once every week to two weeks to keep everything clean and working correctly. If you wait too long, you're gonna get a lot of buildup in there and it'll be difficult to get it clean and functioning the way it was designed to by the manufacturer. And I'll also put the link to the other video I did when I installed all of this in case you're looking at installing a whole house water filtration system or water softener system at your house. It's really simple, a lot easier than I thought it would be. And I'm glad I did it myself so I know exactly how everything's set up. In the meantime, thanks for joining me. Hit that like button and the subscribe button if you like content like this and help support the channel. And God bless you guys. Love y'all. See you next time.